Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Last time we talked about two analog modulation methods, AM and FM. Today we will talk about three types of digital modulation methods: amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying, and phase shift keying. Before we get into these three digital modulation methods, let's quickly review a wave's amplitude, frequency, and phase. A wave has a highest point called crest, and a lowest point called trough. The vertical distance between crest and the wave's central axis is amplitude. Amplitude is about the strength of a wave, or the power of a wave's vibration and oscillation. In other words, the greater the amplitude of the wave, the more energy it carries. Then, what's the frequency? If we draw an imaginary vertical line in space, the frequency of a wave. Is how often a wave cycle passes the line within a certain time. For example, within one second. We can also define frequency as the number of times a wave cycle repeats within a certain time. Phase specifies the location of a point within a wave cycle. The locations on a Wave cycle can be specified as an angle in either radians or degrees, as well as in fractions of of a cycle. This can be visualized with a rotating wheel and a spoke tracing the wave as time goes. Now let's see how each digital modulation method works. Suppose we have these digital signals in zeros and ones. Here is the carrier wave we will use to send these digital signals. First, let's see how ASK works. ASK is the modulation method where the digital signals change the amplitude of the carrier wave. If the digital signal value is one. Then the carrier wave amplitude remains the same. When the digital signal value is zero, the amplitude of carrier wave is much weaker. Frequency shift keying is the digital modulation technique in which the frequency of the carrier wave changes with the digital signals. We can say when digital binary value is one, the frequency of a carrier wave is higher. When binary value is zero, the frequency of a carrier wave would become lower. Here is another example. On the left side are digital signals. On the right side is a carrier wave. The modulated wave demonstrates. How digital signals modulate or change the carrier wave. PSK is a digital modulation process which transmits data by changing the phase of a constant frequency of the carrier wave. We can see from the animation the frequency and amplitude of the carrier wave remain the same, only change. Is phase specifically phase changes at the point where the binary value one changes to binary value zero, or where the zero changes to one. I replay this animation again. Please pay attention to the turning points where the arrow flashes. Let's zoom in to look closely when input bit changes from one to zero. For example, when the bit value is one, the wave travels like this. But at the moment when the binary value changes to zero, 
the wave changes its direction. It stops going up and starts going down. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.